Hey everyone, it's Revni with Attack the Paint. Today, let's go over the scouting footage of Kansas forward Shaq Diallo, who is officially declared for this year's draft. He has great size, standing at 6 foot 9 with a wingspan of 7 foot 4. He's a good 220 pounds, but he still needs to get stronger. He played one year at Kansas, but never really broke into the rotation. Hence, his minutes and numbers are pretty low. He only took 58 shots the whole season. First, let's examine his offense and then look into his defense. Diallo has a strange shooting form as you can see here. His elbow is way too high and too far out. His elbow needs to be at least as low as where the red line is. And his forearm needs to be closer to where the white line is. He also shoots the ball way behind his head. The ball shouldn't go much farther back than where the white line is here. Hence, it's not surprising that he's only shooting 56% from the line. Diallo can occasionally hit the mid-range shot. He's shooting 40% from the right elbow, and he's shooting 40% from the left elbow. His best shooting spot on the floor is the left baseline, where he's shooting at 60%. Still, he's very inconsistent as a shooter, and he didn't even attempt a 3-point shot the whole season. He doesn't shoot very well when he doesn't have much space, and he doesn't have any go-to moves to get open. Diallo has great length, and as a result, he can finish above the rim. He doesn't have great hops, but his height gives him a big advantage here. He likes to run the floor, and he kind of just glides on the court in transition. There's potential for Diallo to be a good pick and roll player, but right now, he forces the issue. He decides what he's going to do before, and he doesn't react to the defense. Diallo has trouble finishing at the rim. He doesn't have great touch around the basket, and he doesn't use any pump fakes to try to get open or fouled. He doesn't pass the ball out if he gets stuck either, and then he forces the issue, taking a difficult shot. You have to commend Diallo on his effort on the boards. He's a very good offensive rebounder due to his good timing and length. He still needs to get stronger, but this is one of his most NBA ready traits. He's a good defensive rebounder as well. Per 40 minutes, he averaged 13.5 rebounds per game. Diallo's best defensive skill is his shot blocking ability. A 7-4 wingspan definitely helps here, but it's his timing that makes him a good shot blocker. Diallo's post defense can still be improved. I'm sure once he gets stronger, he'll get better in this area. So as you can see, Diallo is very raw. He's a complete project and you have to rebuild his jump shot completely in my opinion. You have to like his effort on the court and it usually results in rebounds or good defense. He wants to do the dirty work, which is good. However, he's a liability on offense right now, and his offensive game needs a lot of work. I think whichever team drafts him has to send him to the D-League for at least some time. His physical attributes alone will possibly get him drafted in the late first round, but it wouldn't be shocking if he dropped in the second round. If you enjoyed this video, please share it and like it. Also, hit the subscribe button if you want to see more videos like this one. This is Ravneet with Attack the Paint, and I'll talk to you guys in the next one.